Hi everyone, uh, travel addict uh, guy here and I'm in the Cabanal neighborhood here in Valencia guys. We're at this famous sandwich shop here and it's called Bodega La Pascuala and I'm here once again with James and Carmel. They're inside, you can see a lot of people here outside. It's a little bit cooler day. So this place was highly recommended. Here we are. Here's James. How you doing today, James? Doing awesome. Awesome. Ready to eat lunch. Looking forward to trying this famous sandwich here in Valencia, guys. Wow. And I hear it's a really big sandwich. So <laughs> cannot wait for that. This place looks really cool inside. Check it out. Wow. So, so cool. Look at that. Here it is, guys. A La Pascuala. Awesome. Very nice. Look at this. And we got some photos here. So it looks like a lot of famous people have been here. Check that out, guys. Wow. A lot of drinks here, too. Quite full. We're looking forward to trying this great sandwich here, guys, in Valencia. We're getting a table now. Okay, muchas gracias. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Mi nombre es Pepe. Encantado. Okay, un gusto, amigo. Okay, muchas gracias. Here's some bullfighters here. Looks like they might have been here. Very cool, guys. We had a big um, group of people here, maybe the workers. So, unbelievable, guys. Look at this. You can see it's a very popular place to come. They were in the El Mundo newspaper, guys. Look at all the bottles. Some old bottles here, too. Wow, that is nice. Kind of gives it a cool ambiance. There's the old bottles of wine here. Look at that, guys. Look at these antique bottles. I love that. And they said there was a 70-year-old bottle of gin at the bar. We'll have to check that out later, guys. Wow. Very cool. Okay, guys. This is David Ferrer, the tennis player. Wow. He's been here. Awesome. Look at that. Look at the big trophy you got there. Wow. So we got a Coca-Cola's here. And they say the Coca-Cola is better in Spain than America. So you guys can tell me. You just came from America, right? Yeah, we'll find out. Okay. Tell me what you think, guys. This is the light. Less sugar. I like it. It's less sweet and I like it. And they, they don't sweet. use corn syrup. In no. Europe or in Spain, they don't use that corn syrup. It's much. So it's real sugar. It's real Cane sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sugar. a little bit different. Yeah. I like it. It's less sweet. I think the Coke is better here, guys, in Spain. That's my personal opinion. And I guess they've confirmed it. She said the same, right? Yes, I did. Very nice. Less sugar, less sweet, and it just has more flavor. Yeah, and they don't have the corn syrup. Exactly. They don't so want it really, different. really sweet. You don't want it sticky sweet. sweet. Or, I, can't, I can't drink it. And the corn syrup is uh, really bad for you, I believe, it is. too. It is. And here's the bottle, guys. There it is. So if you're interested in seeing what the bottle looks like, very cool. You're not going to believe what I ordered, guys. I ordered the Susan or the Susan, and it is horse meat, guys, on the uh, grill. Amon Serrano on the grill and onion. So, can I wait to see that, guys? That's horse meat. You heard it right. Horse, caballo, the one that runs in the race. Oh, my. And you got. <laughs> Terry, you love horses. I know, I love horses. I can't believe I'm going to eat one. Oh, um, my. I hope it's good. I hope, yeah, I hope it's good. good. I got to try it, guys, for the channel, I think. It's got to be interesting for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. Wow. <laughs> Very good. And I'm anxious to try the Merche, Francesca Lomo eggs. de Cerdo. And so I got eggs with um, meat yes. and cheese. Okay, very nice. And uh, what did you get? I got the super. Okay. <laughs> Beef filet and bacon, cheese, onion and tomato, onion and tomato guys. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can't wait for that, guys. And I got a half because I heard the sandwiches are huge here. A full sandwich is nine euros, so you know that would be huge, guys. So get in a half. And it looks like some workers behind us. So this is a a popular place, guys, for sure. Okay, guys, we got some olives and peanuts to snack on. You've been trying the olives there, James. How are they? They're very good. Wow. They're, they're pitted. In America, we don't get olives. Like, no, right, we don't get pits. the pits. Yeah, it's normally pitted here in Spain. Well, that's some more natural, the pit. So yeah, they're not sure. processed. Okay, here they are, guys. They're kind of tiny. They're delicious. Mmm. You got to eat a few. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful, but not very big. It's mostly pit and just a little olive, but very nice. The sandwiches are here. Okay, so that's the uh, beef super. one. Super. Super. Super ternero. Okay, so the beef, bacon, cheese, onion, and tomato. Okay, so why don't you give that a try for us there, It should be called meat, meat, meat. Okay. there's a lot of meat. I know. That's good stuff. Good? Okay. Take a look at that, guys. Wow. It's full of meat. Very nice. And they don't put any sauce on the sandwiches, guys. It's normally how it is. If you want something, you have to ask for it. She offered us ketchup, uh, mayonnaise, and I got the old alioli sauce. So we're going to maybe put some of that on there. We'll see. Okay. You've got your sandwich now? The merche. 
Okay. And this is the egg and pork meat. Egg and pork. Okay, nice. The uh, lomo de cerdo. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. Tender. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And nice size there, guys. That's a 450 sandwich. Wow, look at that. That's big on its own. Look at that. God, I didn't get the the full size one. Oh my. And guys, there it is. That's the horse meat. Oh my lord, that's the horse meat. So it's horse, a Serrano on the plancha. So that's the uh, the ham, the uh, thin sliced ham, guys. And we've got onion on there as well. So I'm gonna bite into that. Oh my gosh, look at the size of it. Oh my gosh, okay. And he's got some sauce. So there it is, guys. Never had horse meat in my life. I saw it in Chile, but I never ate it there, guys. I had actually some dried horse meat, but I never had the regular horse meat, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Wow, I didn't even know they had it in Spain, honestly. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys, very interesting flavor. It's kind of like a beef. I think it's a little bit more chewy actually, and it's a little bit gamier. So a little bit gamier flavor, but I would not know it was horse actually, guys. It just tastes like a a little gamier meat. So something like that, maybe like um, maybe close to deer, something like that, something like that, like venison, maybe something similar to that actually. Wow, very interesting. They tried some of the horse meat. What do you think? You tried some. What does it taste like to you? I don't mind it. It, it has its, a unique flavor. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, okay. I don't mind a little, it little gamier than beef. A little gamier, but not that bad. Not too bad. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. No, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. What do you think, James? James is really testing it. More like beef. I like it. Okay. Maybe a little bit tougher. Yeah, it was a little bit tougher, I think. Yeah, yeah. but not bit, much. But not much. That's good. Very nice. Not yeah. bad. So. Wow, guys, horse today, wow, and I am a horse lover, but when you're in another country, you have to try the food, I think, guys, and that's what I'm doing here, so very interesting, and I said, do they eat horse a lot? I asked the waitress, she said no, but this place, they have it, so interesting food today, guys, in La Pascuala, guys, in Valencia. So I put some alioli sauce on there, guys, which is like that mayonnaise with, um, with garlic, and you can see there's a layer of onion underneath, too. And you can see this is a thin cut piece of horse. So actually guys, this is illegal to eat in America. It's illegal to eat horse meat. So I'm actually breaking, well here it's legal, but if I was in America, I would be breaking the law by eating this. Oh my God. But what's crazy about it is actually, I just read about it. You cannot eat it in America, but they actually slaughter the horses and send them overseas to be eaten. So it's not much difference really guys. But it is actually forbidden to eat this in America. Oh my. We both agree, James and I, that the, the onions give it kind of a sweet flavor. They're kind of sweet, the onions, aren't they, James? Mm. I have a ton of onions on this sandwich, yeah. and they're sweet. Sweet onions, yeah. exactly. It's wow. Like, like candied onions. Yeah, really good. they're so nice, really. It's a little bit tough here, this part. So a little bit tough in some areas. So a little tougher than beef. Well, I guess you have to expect that with the with the horse meat, guys. So I do want to put a disclaimer, guys. I know a lot of people love horses. I love horses myself, but I think it's better to to have a use for the animal. So we're eating it today. It's not just being thrown away. So I think in this case, it is. I wanted to try it too. I'm in Spain, so that is the reason I'm eating the horse today. So wow, great place though. We really enjoyed the food. You guys liked it? Oh yeah, nine out of ten. Awesome. Very good. Yeah, great very place, good. guys. And not expensive. Oh my gosh, four fifty uh, a plate for those sandwiches. Four fifty each. And take a look at how many people, guys. Oh my gosh, look at all the people now. We actually had to wait a little while for our table, but not too long. So wow, a packed place and a great place here in Valencia. ¿Cuál es el caballo que usan para comida? Es un caballo que crían especial para para esa carne. Okay. No es el típico caballo que ves por el campo, sino lo crían para para y por esa carne. Okay, so it's criado Exacto. solo para carne. Exacto, sí. Okay, gracias. Okay, guys, so here's the bill. So not bad for all that, for three people, guys. Less than 20 euros, wow. Will they accept that? That's amazing. Okay, I gave him a tip, guys. Here it is. Yeah. Hey, all right, buenas. Gracias. ¿Y cuál es su nombre? Yo María. Malu. María, ok, Pero María. Malu. Ok, Malu, ok, muchas gracias. Este Ay, lugar sí. es buenísima. Gracias. We had a great time, guys, in the La Pascuala. And fantastic food, guys. So we'll see you in the next video. Travel Addict, the guy.
Take care, everyone. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>